Hey guys, I got my Helicrafters S38 here. A uh, great old tube radio. Let's fire it up and see what we can pick up here. Hi gang, this is Peter Bass. Every day when school is out, reach up on the shelf. Peter Pan Peanut Butter presents Sky King. Today, the mark of El Diablo. Okay guys, how you doing? Welcome back to Heavy Metal Horizons. I got a radio video for you today. Um, so we were just, you know, sponsored by Peter Pan Peanut Butter. That's the Sky King radio program. And we're listening to this on my very old, it's a 1950s Halicrafters radio. This is uh, AM, you know, broadcast, uh, medium wave, and then short wave and so forth. And uh, yeah, we're listening to it through the radio. And I have not modified the radio in any way. How, how are we doing that? Okay, well, this isn't anything really earth-shattering here, but right behind the radio, I have a little tiny battery-powered AM transmitter, and then I've got my phone hooked up. It's got an audio input jack, like a 3.5 millimeter uh, stereo audio cable. So you can play anything you want off of your phone, hook it up to the internet. Uh, you could listen to, like, live ATC, air traffic control, and transmit it through this, and then your old AM radio can pick it up. Now, there's a lot of setups like this around, but what's kind of interesting about this is this is the little tiny transmitter that you can buy off of eBay or AliExpress for like $20. If you get it on eBay, it's around 20 bucks. If you get it on AliExpress, they'll ship it directly from China. Uh, it's like $14, $15, so really, really inexpensive. Now, there is a catch, though, with the price. Um, I'll go over a couple of the features of this, but the main thing you have to pay attention to is that it's battery powered. It has no plug for an external power supply, and the battery it uses is one of these um, 18650 lithium ion batteries. So it's 3.7 volts. Uh, you know, this is like the, the Tesla type battery, right? It's kind of what people think of it now. Um, laptop batteries, that kind of stuff. And these are not super hard to get, but at the same time, most people probably don't have one of these batteries lying around. And it's a rechargeable battery. So when you get this unit, it's not a kit, it comes fully assembled, but it does not include the battery and does not include a battery charger. So if you don't already have that stuff, you're gonna have to factor into the cost, not just the transmitter itself, but also the battery and possibly a charger in order to power it. Now let's talk about the unit itself. It's got a very simple uh, telescoping antenna and it's got three channels on it. So you can't actually choose the frequency that you're transmitting at, but it has three different options and you choose which, you want, which one you wanna use with these little jumper pins on here. I'll give you some close-ups of all this stuff. And the three channels you have, frequency-wise, it's basically one megahertz, which is what you'd be using for medium wave, the AM band, and then three megahertz and also five megahertz. And so depending on your radio setup, uh, you can choose a different frequency. For this, of course, you know, it's, it's you know, 1,000, right, in the AM radio band, so I'm using the one megahertz setting. Also, I'll mention really quickly, this radio, for the people who are interested, is a Halicrafters S38C. Uh, so it's made in like the early to mid 50s, I think around 1953. And it's a uh, AM radio, but you can switch it here and it can also pick up Morse code, CW. It's a cool old 50s tube radio and it's got that wonderful warm vintage sound. Now some of these Halicrafters radios can be extremely expensive. This one actually even today is one of the less expensive ones. Sometimes you can find them on eBay for like $75, maybe under $100, you know, in good working condition. This one I got through Facebook Marketplace. I got a, a killer deal on it. I got it for $40. Uh, and it's I'm super happy with it. Okay, now back to this transmitter. So you got the three uh, channels or frequencies you can choose. It's powered by this uh, 18650 battery. You plug the, ba or you put the battery in, then once you plug the audio cable in, that 
powers, now the, the transmitter is powered. Obviously, this is an extremely low output, you know, low wattage transmitter. And this thing really only works, I mean, if you have it in very, uh, very close vicinity of the radio. So like, I kind of had it sitting back here, uh, you know, to hide it behind the radio. Problem is it's such low power that you have to have it within a few feet, I think, of the radio. You would not be able to have the transmitter just somewhere in your house and then have the radio be able to pick up the signal like in another room or so forth. It's not that powerful. This is basically the least expensive little AM transmitter that I've found like this. There are some other ones that are similar to this, which have a few more options. They're a little bit more expensive. And I'm gonna be trying out some of those in the future as well to kind of compare them. Okay guys, so I'm gonna put links for this down in the video description below. You can get it on eBay, Amazon, or AliExpress, and the price is a little bit different depending on where you buy it. I'll put links, uh, the, I'll put links for those different places, like I said, down in the video description below. So if you are looking for a way to get any audio source into your AM radio, you know, an old radio like this, but you don't want to modify the radio, this is really a great way to do it. Just keep in mind the issue with the battery. If you don't already have one of these batteries, you're going to have to get one in order to make this work. But uh, yeah, if you don't mind that and you're looking for an easy, uh, low-cost solution like this, I think it's uh, a really good option. Okay, guys, thanks a ton for watching. I hope you enjoyed this quick video about the AM transmitter. Links down below. Thanks a ton for watching. And of course, if you enjoy videos like this, please consider subscribing. We do aviation, cars, and radio here on Heavy Metal Horizon. I'll see you next time.